of this movie dropped, most Nigerians were all agog and since then have been anticipating to watch this film. And now it's finally out. I'm talking about the movie Muna, starring Adesua Etomi as an action star. This movie is directed by Kelvin Wankwa and it tells a story of a young girl trafficked but now seeks revenge. My name is Ahine Atta and I want you to join me to experience the premiere of this movie tonight. I'll be right back. Keep watching our Forever TV. So what part of the trailer got you? Literally every part. I remember <laughs> seeing a guy, strange, maybe most people didn't see that, but there's a guy who's riding on a bike with a, and he's, he's, he's backing a goat. More importantly, Adesua, beautiful, very talented, but most importantly, a character that we probably never ever seen her in yes, before. True. This is full on action. She is, you know, kicking butt. Muna, tell me, what do you want? That time has come for us to begin to tell our story, sure. especially as it affects us. And I think Muna is one of such movies. I think the fact that you could tell that they were really trying to incorporate some action into mm -hmm. it. And you can see those some movements that you don't always see in Hollywood films. That's that's what really piqued yes, my interest. The action flick. Yeah. <laughs> this film is addressing a very important issue yes. around the whole world, which is human trafficking. Yes. And we know a lot of people have been trafficked out of Nigeria and mm -hmm. other countries across the world. Right. But how far do you think we have gone in terms of covering this in Nigeria, and uh, how can we do more? Uh, we have a very, very long way to go, unfortunately, but we have started to raise a lot of awareness. Um, I'm happy that the Mona film is part of that campaign to raise awareness about this issue. They took me away from my village. They sold me to a life of slavery and abuse. I know who you are. You're that scared little girl who escaped to the jungle. The production process wasn't like Nollywood. How do you mean? And, uh, having Kelvin, having Hollywood experience, he studied abroad, he has, he has gone abroad to do a couple of things and what he has done in the past, he has a lot of experience. And then having an action movie mm -hmm. of this and you see um, um, stunt directors. Hope you like your eggs over easy. Ugh. There are no evil men. You're weak and weak don't fly. Um, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. Mm. You know, it's first experience here in Nigeria and for me it's, uh, it's great. So you start in this movie, how was it like on set? Um, you know, I had a, such a great experience on set with the cast and the crew that it was amazing, you know, I, I really enjoy the character, yeah, playing my character, there is Alberto in the movie. I'm Tony and you are thirsty. Alright, what we got? Stop human trafficking. Adrian, a skill last night. Don't you ever bring Threats to my happy home again. I'm here to support oh. my boyfriend, the actor. Oh, he's an actor in the film. Yes. Mm, one of the nice. Mafia guys. <laughs> one of the bad guys, she one means. One of the bad guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first off, let's talk about your experience so far in Nigeria. How's it been like? No, it's been beautiful. I have a lot of Nigerian friends. And hey. so it's really nice to be here and see what they've always been talking about. Mm. So. so how do you think this movie will change the narrative in terms of how action movies are done in this part of the world? Yeah. Well, I feel like every day the films that are produced in Hollywood, they are getting better and better. Like just this year, uh, there was a movie nominated for the Oscars. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we are trying to do our bit uh, to raise the level. Mm. You know, the whole collaboration between Hollywood and Hollywood. We bring the Hollywood technology. The story is very much yeah. rooted in Nigeria. It was also partly shot here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have local actors. Mm -hmm. uh, Adesua was a charm to work with. She's, yeah. she's, she's, she was the most professional actor you can have on set. Why did you choose to tell this story? Why did you choose to put your money in this production, Muna? Uh, because I believe in it. I believe in the story. I feel that the story has a part to play in our society today. And I feel that people need to know uh, also about uh, this uh, thing called human trafficking. And at the same time, too, um, those that are victims already, they have to make the decisions if to stay in the past or just to, to move on you know, to a better life and all that stuff. So. Sure. 